What if the Earth is in the game? Ah, yes. No Man's Sky. Yes, No Man's Sky. 18 quintillion planets. Now, Hello Games could have hidden the Earth in there somewhere. There's 18 quintillion after all. Now, that means that if you're the lucky sod who found the Terran solar system where the Earth is, your chances are you're not going to be able to name anything. However, ah yes, however, what if this? Chances are it's not going to be procedurally generated and chances are it's not going to be 100% accurate because you, you can't see the game building a city the size of New York. It would struggle with Manchester where I'm from, never mind New York. So with that in mind, Hello Games may have put a science fiction-y spin on it. Maybe you find the Terran solar system and the sun has gone supernova and the earth is just a collection of large asteroids with some atmosphere left on them. Maybe it's a post-apocalyptic planet with nothing but ruins and desert for miles and all the life has been killed off and deceased. Maybe it's a futuristic city of sky cities in the clouds and the earth has been re-terraformed to fix all the damage we've done cutting down every single rainforest in existence. Who knows? However, the possibilities of how the earth could look if the earth is secretly in the game, why would I say that the earth could possibly be in the game? And it is of course to do with all the little Greek messages, you know, all the little Greeky things. And when I say Greeky things, what I mean is the Atlas. Now, Atlas was the god, the Greek god of the sky, endurance and astronomy, or in no man's sky, shall we say, survival and space. Yes, Atlas was also paired with Phoebe sometimes, and Phoebe was the Greek goddess of the moon. So there you have the sky and the moon. Hmm, what else? Now there was a Greek author, and uh, his name escapes me right now, but he gave Atlas parentage. He changed Atlas's parentage to Aether and Gaia. Now Aether was the primordial deity in the Greek pantheon of the upper air that the gods breathed. And Gaia was the personification of Mother Earth. Literally, she was the Earth. So here we have Atlas, holding up the sky, interested in survival and space, and paired with the moon. And his parents just so happen to be the cleanest, freshest, most perfect air that the gods breathe, and Mother Earth. Now the irony of that is, Phoebe, who I've previously said he was paired with, her parents were Gaia again, or Gaia, the Mother Earth, and Uranus. And Uranus is one of the primordial deities who happens to represent the sky per se, and exploration. And interesting little tidbit, just to finish off, Uranus's symbol, or one of his symbols for that planet, is a circle with a line attached to the top and a H attached to that circle. Or in other words, the cross-section of the USS Enterprise from Star Trek viewed from above or below. Yep, the silhouette of the Enterprise. Exploration, space, ah yes, as I was saying, little hints, probably putting two and two together and getting 5,000, but little hints are the same. Could the Earth be in the game? Only one way to find out. But I would love to think that out of 18 quintillion planets, it's hidden in there somewhere for some lucky bugger to find. Thanks for listening. If you want to listen to some more of my little theories and rambles, by all means come back. You know how to do that. You've used YouTube long enough. So for now I will simply say, this is Robbie Don, Robbie Gone.